Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and I am here at Generations Riviera Maya Resort to give you a little tour. Right now I'm upstairs on the Sky Wedding Terrace. It's about 7.30 in the morning and it looks like it's about to rain. <laughs> so that's why you're not going to see very many people out and about. So let's take a quick peek. So here is the resort. It's very compact. It has three high-rise buildings well i guess six floors it's not high-rise but um, as you can see the bottom first floor suites are a swim out into the main pool the second third and fourth levels have infinity pools that st stretch the length of the balcony and then the top two levels just have regular suites with terraces and patios um, as you look here's the beach objects you see in the water are concrete blocks that will eventually become an artificial reef to help protect the beach. The currents here are quite strong, um, so there's a lot of erosion. That's why you can see the boat. The beach isn't quite as wide as some of the resorts, and there's just a little bit of seaweed. The crew has not come through this morning yet to clean it up. They've definitely cleaned that up each morning, but the water is that beautiful blue color and it is really great. Um, another thing to know, just check out, you can see how tall the palm trees are. So if you are in any of the lower balconies, like floors one, two, and three, you do not have an unobstructed ocean view because you will see the top of those palm trees. So this is the Sky Wedding Terrace. It's on the top floor of the building where the restaurants are. You can reserve this for special events uh, or weddings. So I'll give you a little look around here. So there's the wedding gazebo. They decorate that um, and add chairs. Then over here on this side, these are the El Dorado Casitas. And then beyond that is the El Dorado Royale. These are two adults only properties. If you're staying at Generations and over the age of 18, you can use all of their restaurants and bars. So that's a nice feature. And the kids club here is open late. So you have a chance um, to use those restaurants and bars in the evening uh, so that you can really feel like you're getting the experience of staying at two different resorts. So over here, I just wanna point out, these are solar panels. So Charisma, which is the brand that owns the resort, they added solar panels to help offset the energy costs. These help power the spa, and we'll take a picture of that later. And then another little peek here, this actually building in the distance is the main lobby. When they built the resort, they did not want to destroy the mangroves. So they kept the mangroves in place and uh, built the lobby just a little bit farther away. You can request a golf cart um, from this part of the resort to go and take you over there. For instance, if you're being picked up for an excursion or need to transfer, um, and then you can check out these really cool mangroves. That'll be right outside the hallway to your room. Okay, so now we are gonna go down a floor and see a restaurant. So I will meet you down there. We are here on the fourth level of the restaurant building. Um, this is where you can see the sign up here. The exotic clubhouse, the spa are located. Uh, the Exotic Clubhouse, Exotic is the name of their program um, where you pay a fee and um, get discounts. So if you see the signs around that say, you know, members only and things like that, that's what that is. And then here's the spa. It's a small spa because um, it's a small resort, but it has a nice uh, beauty salon and it also has these a uh, bridal suite for anyone who's getting married here at the resort. And it has this adorable little um, cabin just for kids. It's dressed up in camouflage. So it has a lot of services. And the nice thing, again, if you're 18 and over and you go there, you can get a pass and you use treatment. You can get a pass to go and enjoy the water journeys at the El Dorado Casitas, which is basically the set of hydrotherapy pools and steam rooms. Down here on level three, we have Hob, which is the Mediterranean restaurant and lounge. Here's a peek at the menu. So you can see they have 
batouche, salad, kebabs, special different platters, couscous, lamb, curry, paella. So a lot of great options. The octopus lava looks really good. So let me just give you a quick peek inside. Again, it's like 7.30 in the morning, so. So you can just see the decoration. Charisma is known for its great food. So the food's gonna come out, it's gonna be small portions plated really beautifully. You can always order more. Don't ever think you can't order more. Um, so this is again, the Mediterranean restaurant. You do not need reservations. Um, if you did want to take advantage of those exchange privileges I was talking about, by going to dinner at El Dorado Casitas at El Dorado Royale, then you would need reservations because each resort gives preference to their own guests. So ensure the, to ensure they'll be able to accommodate you, you would need reservations at one of those. So I wanna take a quick peek um, from the stairwell here of these balcony pools and point out a couple of things. So first, um, you can see this balcony has, I'm pointing, <laughs> there's my finger. Um, you can see this one has like a, a Baja shelf with two lounge chairs um, and that's a little different than the one next to it with this, which is just a day bed with two smaller chairs. The reason this is, this is a one bedroom suite and that connects to a room with two doubles and then next to that is a room with a king and these rooms all share a foyer and I'll, sh I'll show you that in just a minute so that you can book these three rooms all together so you know for sure that you guys are next to each other that two of the rooms will connect and that you will share a foyer uh, so that's a great perk of this resort really good for extended families friends groups um, that make sure you guys are all next to each other to share this beautiful infinity pool so it's one of one of my favorite things about this property is that they have that option where you can book those rooms you you and I can definitely help you do that um, when we figure out sort of what the best option for your group will be. Okay, down here on level two is wine kitchen and sling bar. Um, let's take a peek at the menu. So I have eaten here and the food is amazing. Um, it's, you know, you can see here zucchini blossom risotto, octopus carpaccio, grilled scallops and pork belly beef tenderloin, roasted duck, Cajun shrimp, mahi-mahi ceviche, chicken breast, coffee crusted mahi-mahi. So it's just really, really lovely. Um, again, this is not the kind of restaurant where you're going to get an 18 ounce ribeye. Um, if that's a deal breaker for you, we should probably look at a different resort. These are gonna be carefully crafted, beautiful plates of food that are really delicious. So here's a peek inside of the wine kitchen. Again, beautiful ocean view. And then in here connected, and you can also enter it from the outside, is the sling bar. So this is kind of the go-to place at night. Um, it also has the evening shows if it gets rained out. So you can see, hopefully you can see it's a little dark because it's, again, first thing in the morning. Um, but there's the bar, just to give you an idea of the different kind of brands of alcohol. You can see here, we have Bombay Sapphire, Absolute Vodka, uh, Johnny Walker Red and Black Label, all different kinds of Jack Daniels, Jim Beam. So what's known in the all-inclusive world as a top shelf bar. So this is Sling Bar. Now I've been showing you some very fancy menus, but the other thing is there's, this is a family resort. So there is a kid's menu. Don't worry about that. Um, the kiddos can get chicken nuggets, mac and cheese, sort of your more traditional kiddie foods. An important um, note about the vibe here at Generations is it does shut down early. 
This is a resort where the evening show is going to be at 9.15 p.m. and then kind of gets pretty calm around 10. So this is Jade. This is the Asian restaurant. So here's the menu. You can see chicken teriyaki, salmon, Vietnamese beef roll, vegetarian rice noodles, tom yum soup, which is delicious. It has a little bit of spice, but it's very, very good. You can get um, the raw bar, the sushi. So lots of different options there. We'll just take a peek inside. So yeah, here is Jade. Give it a second. Again, ocean view. I really like how they set this restaurant up so that it can be ocean view. And then it also has these nice long tables where you can sit in a group. If you have more than eight people, they really prefer that you um, set up a preset menu so that to ensure your whole group can eat together and be served at the same time. And I can help you do that. And plus it's just nice because then you know that you can all get in the restaurant, you can all eat at the same time, and you can work with the, the resort, or I work with the resort in advance to make sure it's to your taste. Okay, so we're gonna head down. To the first floor. going to skip this one. We're going to go all the way down because that's where the kids club is. They have a kids club for ages 4 to 12. It's based on a chef theme. So they'll have different cooking classes, different activities. Uh, they, Like I said, it's open till 11 o'clock each evening. So you can take advantage of being next door to the Royale and the Casitas. If you have older kids than 12, really isn't the best resort for them. There's not a lot of activities uh, and that's just, you know, something to be aware of. So it's called Eco Kids Generations. So you can see today, this is like the general activities, 10 a.m. time at the beach, 12 p.m. pool time, 3 p.m. face painting, and there's a pirate night tonight. So lots of fun to be had here. If you have kids younger than four, Here's the cool thing. You can request baby amenities. You can request a crib and a stroller and a baby bathtub and baby food and whatever you need for your little kiddo and have that here at the resort for you so you don't have to bring it all with you, which I think is awesome. So this is Chef Market and it is the Grand Cafe and Deck and here I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Hey guys, it's Angie. I am here at breakfast at Generations Riviera Maya. So let me just show you around. First, it's this gorgeous Grand Market. So you can see, I love how it has the long table. So if you were here um, with your family, you have so many options to all sit together without having to move everything around um, in the whole thing. And then there's also this great pier where they sometimes will add seating if it's really busy. So isn't that beautiful? You get a special events out there. Um, it's, it's just really neat. So here it kind of gives you a sense of how big it is. So let's go see what's for breakfast. All right, looks like we have some donuts. An oatmeal bar, like all the different toppings you could ever want for oatmeal. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, that looks like enchiladas. Tater tots, breakfast standard. Ooh, black beans. You can tell we're in Mexico, and I love it. Oh, this is chicken. And oh, zucchini. Let's see what's over here. Quesadillas. And then there's a make your own omelet, or they'll make your eggs any way you want. Scrambled eggs. Mm. 
bacon, sausage, and here there's fresh juice, and all the fresh fruits. And then they make these little tiny smoothies. And then over here, we have a make your own Bloody Mary. You can choose your vodka. It's only 6.40 in the morning here, so I will not be doing that. Or you can make a mimosa. And then here's sort of the more European breakfast. station so all your breads don't they look good I'm so excited to try it that looks so good so yeah and then all the t like this is like the kitty station see how they're all so low and then these are all gluten free so this is like this special gluten-free station so people can't cross-contaminate. And they even have their own special gluten-free toaster. Okay, that's it. Welcome to breakfast. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'm gonna go um, grab a plate and get eating. Have a great day, everybody. We just left the chef's market. Now we're heading towards the pool deck. This building here is the grill. It's an a la carte option for lunch that features hamburgers, hot dogs, tacos, wraps. By a la carte, I mean you sit down, get a menu, place your order. I strongly recommend the shrimp wrap and the beef steak tacos. They are so good. You can also get a traditional entree like, a, like salmon or steak if you want something a little more substantial for lunch. Heading down to the beach, we see this intermediate area with ballet beds. Because the resort has kept a lot of the natural foliage, this is going to feel more like a private jungle retreat than a beachfront experience because the trees will block the ocean, but it feels very cozy. So heading down the beach, there's a little bit of a steep ramp. This resort is not handicap accessible, so keep that in mind. All right, we're down on the beach. The sand is soft with just a couple rocks here and there. You do see a little bit of seaweed. That is because the crew has not come through this morning and cleaned up. You can actually see the gentleman in the yellow jacket there getting the beds ready for the day. These bally beds are first come, first serve. They will also put out chaise loungers with umbrellas as the day goes on and more and more people want to be at the beach. This end of the beach and closest to Casitas tends to be a little quieter. As we move towards the middle of the beach, you can see there in the distance, the beach volleyball court. It's going to be more activities towards the center of the beach. There's also a little kids play area, which I'll show you here. You can see this morning how even with those concrete barriers, the surf coming in is a little bit rough. We had a storm last night. A lot of people bring their own inflatable rafts. So you can see a leftover one here. Those aren't provided by the resort, but a lot of people will throw one in their suitcase. And then this is the kids' playground. So, and then you could also see the goal that they set up for beach soccer. So you can imagine you're laying on your ballet bed down there, one kid's playing beach soccer, the other kid's going up and down the slide a hundred times while you enjoy a mojito 
from your beach butler. Now we're headed back towards the pool area. the little soccer goals here and then this building up here is a chapel so it is available for Catholic weddings and if you would want to do a service for your group you can pre-arrange that it's locked right now so I can't show you the beautiful inside this is the little kids pool that turns into a fountain during the day and they have their own little special lounge chairs ah I know I heard you say it this is so cute Now you can see the Infinity Swim Up Suites on the first floor all have the lounge chairs in the middle. So even though this is a family resort, think about how fun that would be for you and a group of your friends to get those, those three bedroom suites where you have rooms all right next to each other and basically just have your own section of the pool. Over here wouldn't be the Caribbean without an oversized chessboard. We have ping pong. We have a basketball court. This turns into the theater at night. They'll put chairs along this walk walkway and do the evening shows. We saw they had a casino night where they had an auction uh, to sell off special prizes and then karaoke afterwards. They had a singing and dancing show. They also had a fire show with acrobats. So a lot of different offerings in the evening. Those shows will typically be at 9.15 p.m. and last about half an hour to 45 minutes. Now, one thing I do want to point out that's really important. So here's the theater. Here's the rooms. It's going to be loud. You are going to be able to hear this from your room, at least in the part that's closest to the sliding glass doors. You're also going to pick up some of the pool noise. So this is just something to keep in mind. If you are a family that has to have absolute quiet at 8 p.m., this may not be the resort for you. As we walk closer here, you can see they have the little cocktail tables with the bar stools around it. A pool volleyball net also gets set up here. So the first building is building 18, the second is building 19, the third is building 20. If you wanted to be close to the restaurants, you would request party building 18. If you wanted to have a swim out suite that goes straight to the pool volleyball cart and swim out bar, you would pick building 19. If you wanted something a little bit farther away, maybe a little bit quieter, you'd want to pick building 20. I'm standing here in front of the entrance to the room. Um, as you can see, it's an outdoor hallway where you have views of the mangroves. And then you come to this outside door and you can see the suites that are inside. There's three suites. So you open this door and then you come into this foyer. Hi. So this room is going to be a one bedroom suite that connects to this double room. And then down here is a room with one king bed. So let me show you inside. It's Angie from Trips with Angie, and I am at Generations Riviera Maya in a infinity pool suite, and I cannot wait to show you around. So first I'm gonna start, this is the back end of the room, so this is kind of the bedroom area with a king bed. Um, you also have a great little table uh, if you want room service. And then you can see over here, we have the TV and a set of drawers, also a desk if you wanted to work um, coming over here. Here is the mini bar. So you have in-room coffee service, and then you also have an in-room mini bar. At Charisma Resorts, it is beer and sodas. So you can see in here, there's a number of different sodas, beers, water, and little snacks if the gourmet all-inclusive isn't enough for you. Now let's go out and check out this infinity pool. So you go out to this patio, and it's a little loud. They're playing pool games right now. So you can see there's a nice day bed out here. 
a set of two chairs and a small table. And then here is the infinity pool on your balcony. We are in the third level here. Uh, so how cool is this? It goes the entire length of the floor. Um, so as you can see, it's not private once you get out here, but how cool would this be to be with all your friends and family sharing one of these balconies? So now you can see out to the water and then I'm gonna give you some close-up views later, but down there, if you can see that white tablecloth, they're doing a ceviche cooking class. Over here where that white ball is and inflatable slide, that's the kids pool area where they have lots of kids activities going on. Come over here, you can see the day bed over there where you can rela relax and lounge. I mean, how gorgeous is this view? It's just amazing. Um, you can see those little concrete barriers out there in the water. The purpose of those is to break the surf so that the beach um, isn't eroded. And so it's really nice because it keeps the water coming in a little bit calmer so you can actually enjoy a beach without having it totally erode. So now let's go in and I will show you the rest of the suite. So as you can see, like I said, this was the back area with the king bed. And then you have this really cool room divider. There's also a ceiling fan, which I appreciate. So this closes. So you'll see beyond this is a sleeper sofa. So if you were sharing the room with friends um, or with your children, this is a family resort you could close this off. There's other options with two queen beds instead of a king bed too. So if you really wanted, if you had a larger family and wanted everyone to stay together, so you have this lovely living room. And then you have another TV. And then you have two closets. They'll bring you as many hangers as you need. Um, I'm only here for a short stay and I don't have that many clothes. Um, so you can see here, bathrobes, slippers, um, also there's a, a safe in the room plus a nice set of drawers and now we will get to the bathroom so here you can see the stand-up shower give you a peek in there obviously you know what that's for hi and then we have the bathroom with two sinks how great is that and then this huge jacuzzi tub this is one of the bigger jacuzzi tubs um, i've ever seen so pretty exciting so this is the Infinity Pool Suite at Generations Riviera Maya. If you have any questions or want to know if this would be right for your next family vacation, please, please, please email me, Trips with Angie. And you can email me at angie at tripswithangie.com. Thanks. Bye.